Welcome to Vancouver, where we typically don't get much snow. So imagine my surprise and delight when we got lots of snow just in time for me to drive the 2022 Volvo XC60 SUV. All wheel drive, beautifully finished inside and out. Let's take it for a spin today on Family Wheels. As we get rolling, a brief request. You're watching Family Wheels, so please give the channel a like. It's as important as heated seats in winter. Leave a comment about this week's vehicle, subscribe, and click the little bell to be notified of new reviews. Thanks for watching. Everything is balanced. It's got just the right amount of luxury, style, the utility, the power, the performance, the handling, absolutely a solid contender against the Mercedes GLC, the BMW X3, the Audi Q5, and the Genesis GV70, among others. The biggest changes for the 2022 model involve its powertrain. While Volvo uses a 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine across its internal combustion lineup, the B5 and B6 specifications replace the T5 and T6. Both are mild hybrids with a 48-volt integrated starter generator. The big payoff is that the engine stop-start function is seamless and unobtrusive. The mild part is because the hybrid does not drive the vehicle. It does, however, recover energy into the 48-volt battery. And that's important because the supercharger is now electrically powered, taking further load off the engine and freeing the supercharger to be optimized for driving needs rather than tied to engine revs. We have the same 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine, but in the B5, you get only turbocharging. In the B6, which is our specification here in the inscription, you get turbocharging and supercharging, which is an interesting thing Volvo does. The pull away from a stoplight like we're doing now is just so elegantly smooth. You're getting the supercharger right off the line, and then the turbocharger kicks in. And as the news reporter's cliche goes, only time will tell if this very complex system will last. You know, I'm from a, a generation when people bought a Volvo when their children were babies and then gave them that Volvo when the kid graduated high school. This generation, turbocharging, supercharging, together, I hope it lasts. Styling changes are very slight, limited to the front and rear valances. Note that at the rear there are no exhaust pipes visible. It's a nod to Volvo's commitment to electrification in coming years, including a promise the next generation XC60 will be fully electric. Luxuries abound in the inscription spec of the XC60. Beautiful uh, cream-colored heated and ventilated Napa leather seats with a cushion extension, power on both sides, massage, the pretty much now obligatory panoramic sunroof. The wood trim is noteworthy. Volvo says this is driftwood and uh, that it has been treated with water. But like its rivals, Volvo uses these desirable options to pump up the profit margin. The top spec inscription trim starts at $62,450, but this one jumps to $75,650. The Bowers & Wilkins sound system is among the best I've heard in a vehicle, but it's $3,750. Air suspension, $2,350. Massage seats, $1,300. Fine if you've got the money, live large. But it's galling that Volvo charges $1,000 for a package that includes heated steering wheel and heated rear seats in a car emblematic of Sweden. Volvo has replaced its well-reviewed Census infotainment system with Android Automotive. Not to be confused with the Android Auto overlay software, it is the entire operating system. The Google Maps app is integrated, making for the best auto navigation system I've ever used. Hey Google, give me directions to Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Main Street and East 2nd Avenue is 18 minutes from your location by car in moderate traffic. Large, detailed maps and instructions are on both screens. Apps such as Spotify or TuneIn Radio can be added from the Google Play Store. Hey Google, 
Play the podcast The Indicator from Planet Money. Got it. Here's the latest episode of The Indicator from Planet Money. Why full employment doesn't mean everyone has a job playing on Google Podcasts. The interface can also control car functions such as heating and ventilation. And from the Wait There's More department, you can voice control Google Home devices such as the Nest thermostat or compatible garage door opener. And over-the-air updates will allow the center screen to stream YouTube videos when the vehicle is parked. That's coming later this year. There's no Apple CarPlay, but an Apple phone can be Bluetooth paired, allowing voice command calling and texting. We departed from the usual test cargo and instead braved the snow and loaded the XC60 with our actual groceries. So instead of three bags full, we've got five, plus a case of pop, a box of oranges, and a baguette to add European style. There'd be plenty of room for our stroller and a backpack. Under the cargo area is an always welcome spare tire. Those cylinders are not nitrous oxide for drag racing, they're part of the optional air suspension. A switch in the compartment adjusts the vehicle's height for easier loading, but it doesn't make a big difference. Well, unfortunately, we have a fail. We've got the rear-facing child seat in the back seat. That's the one that takes up the most room. Here I am in the front seat, 5 feet 11 inches tall, 180 centimeters, and my knees are pressed right up against the glove box door. That's unfortunate. Now, for a shorter adult in the front seat, it's probably going to fit. This is pretty close. A person a couple of three inches shorter than me would probably fit in. And of course, if you've got a booster seat, a forward-facing child seat of any kind in the rear, that's not going to be a problem up front. Well, your kids or your in-laws or whoever is riding here in the back of the Volvo XC60 are going to have a good time, especially at this trim level. We've got heated seats, as well as HVAC controls. Volvo at this specification has what it calls a four zone climate system. And that includes uh, heating uh, outlets up here as well. In addition, we've got two USB-C ports down there. I should also point out that the headrests here in the rear seat can be folded down, uh, they're power folding. You can swap out the heated rear seats option and instead have raised cushions for booster seats put in the back. The booster seat sits on top of them. Seasons come and go, but quality endures, and Volvo has a great deal of quality. Quality of design, quality of manufacture, top quality safety, and many other merits. But what do you think? Give me your comments about the 2022 Volvo XC60. Also, of course, give us a like and do subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Richard Detman. I'll see you next time on Family Wheels.